What are the best and worst neighborhoods to move to in Milton, Ontario? As this small town is gonna have a variety of neighborhoods to choose from. And one neighborhood I'd recommend to one family is definitely a neighborhood I would avoid to another family, depending on what you're looking for from the parks, the schools, the real estate, and more. So I thought in today's video, we would break Milton down into the five distinct areas that make up Milton being the rural Milton, but more specifically, when we zoom into the corner of Milton, we see Central Milton, East Milton, West Milton, and South Milton. So if you're new here and want to learn everything about what it's like living in Hamilton and the surrounding cities like Milton, Ontario, make sure to hit the subscribe button. My name is Matthew and I'm a part of the Living in Hamilton team. And for the past three years, we've been helping people just like yourself relocate here to Hamilton, to Milton, to Oakville, to Burlington, and would love to help you out as well. So regardless, if you're thinking about making the move, whether it's in 90 days or or in six months, send me and my team a message today. Other than that, let's just jump on in to the core area of Milton where it was first established, and that is gonna be the Central Milton. As here, you're gonna find those neighborhoods of Old Milton, Dorset Park, Timberlea, and Bronte Meadows. And this area here, like I mentioned, was the original park and town that really gave Milton the small town charm. So if you are looking for one, more of those established neighborhoods that have those mature trees, great schools close by, and amazing shopping options, this definitely could be the option for you. As if we look at some of the amenities you'll be enjoying when living in these communities here, is first, you're gonna find downtown Milton that has a bunch of great local businesses that you could spend the afternoon poking through and grabbing some to eat or shopping at some local shops. Now, some of my personal favorite local businesses you need to check out would be the Blossom Cafe, the Eighth Note to enjoy some live music, Wagi's Steakhouse for an amazing steak, as well as Bombay Grill and Restaurant for some amazing biryani chicken. Then if you are looking for some of that fresh produce, you'll also find in the downtown Milton area, the farmer's market that happens every Saturday morning from eight to 12 during those spring and summer months. Now within this community here, you're also gonna find the second or most amount of shopping options in Milton, depending on what you're looking for, as this definitely has a lot of shopping options with downtown Milton, but then you'll also find the Milton Mall, where you can get more basic shoppings done. Now, if I'm to be honest and comparing Milton's Mall to that of Oakville's or anything in Mississauga or anything in Burlington, it's definitely not gonna be the best. Now, that's all right, as you will still find some decent shopping options there or in the other surrounding plazas. Now, one of the advantages about living within this community here, especially if you're thinking about commuting to Toronto, as this is gonna be home to the one GO train station you're gonna be finding in Milton at Milton GO. That is about a one hour train ride down to Union Station in downtown Toronto, with currently only a few trains running right now. However, there are plans to expand the schedule and allow a lot more trains happening throughout the day going to Milton to not only Toronto, but just the entire GTA and Golden Horseshoe area with the GO train network. Then when you're living in this community, you're also going to notice some amazing parks. Some of the more notable ones would be the Rotary Park that has a great green space to go for a walk around the pond or for your kids to cool off on a hot summer day at the splash pad and pool. Then you'll also find the Milton Fall Fair Park that is also home every September to the Milton Fall Fair with a variety of different fun activities, shows, rides, and even a demolition derby. And then you will find one of the sports centers here that offers some great ice rinks for your kids to play some hockey. Now, within this community is where you're gonna find the largest density of schools, and that is that you're gonna find five different elementary schools, including the Holy Rosary Catholic Elementary School, as well as the Milton District High School. And then within this community here, if you're looking to continuing the education or have a child that needs some special requirements, whether that's death or other learning disabilities, you can also go check out the EC Drury School. Now, when you're living within this community, where it was primarily built was around the 401. So you are also going to get easy access to pretty much every single one of Milton's highway entrances to jump on the 401 and to go out east or out west. Then within this community, before we jump into the real estate, one last shout out is two different local breweries you'll need 
need to check out. One is the Orange Snail Breweries and the other is the Third Morn Breweries. Now, as for the real estate and how this made up in the total grand scheme of Milton's real estate was this area contained 22% of the real estate sales that had happened in Milton in the last 12 months. Now, typically these homes here were really built between the 1950s and 1980s as we saw a pause of homes being built in Milton in the 1990s due to the lack of extra water supply with Milton's well. However, because that has now been addressed, we have seen that rapid expansion since then in the other neighborhoods we'll talk about in just a moment. But if we see how the real estate breaks down, we can see that 68% of the homes that were sold in the last 12 months were detached homes, typically selling between that $900 and $1.25 million price point, offering three to four beds and three to four bathrooms and usually an attached single car garage. And then you will find some more expensive homes at that 1.25 million to $1.5 million mark. Usually these homes here are gonna be some of the largest lots and largest square footages and offer luxury finishings throughout. And then as for townhomes, this made up 19% of the real estate sales within this community. And we're typically selling between that 600 and $800,000 price points with some of the more affordable townhomes here being built in the 1970s and usually are condo townhomes. And with some of the interiors being a time capsule from the 1970s where other ones have been completely renovated from top to bottom. And then you'll also find a few small pockets of three story newer townhomes here as well. And then as for condos, this made up 13% of the real estate sales here. Now, most of these condos here are gonna be offering one to two beds. And if they are under a thousand square feet, typically we'll sell in the 500s. Whereas when you get over the thousand square feet mark, that's where you're gonna see a lot more condos selling in the 600s. Now this area here, what you're gonna be finding is the second most amount of condo options to choose from. The most amount of condo options you're gonna be choosing from is our next community, which is gonna be on the east side of Milton. And this was the second phase of development that really happened. And this makes up neighborhoods of Dempsey, Clark, BAT, and Coates. Now here, one of the advantages, in my opinion, is the best shopping options. As well, you have a lot of great local businesses that I like to check out. If you're looking to get those one-stop shops, these are the neighborhoods you want to live in, especially if you want to be closer to the 401. As first, you're going to be finding the Milton Smart Center that has a lot of different options from a Walmart, a Canadian Tire, Sports Check, Cineplex, a Best Buy, and a bunch of other stores. And then as for the south end of this community here, you will find a few shopping options, but not nearly the same size as the Smart Center. But no matter what neighborhood you live in within these communities here, you're only going to be about a 10 minute drive to the Toronto premium outlets. And here is going to have a bunch of different outlet stores where you can find some amazing deals on Nike, Adidas, Coach, Guess, Ralph Lauren, and so much more. So if you are looking to get the shopping options, the Smart Center and the Toronto premium outlets are an absolute game changer. But within this community here, you're also gonna find some great schools according to the Fraser Institute rankings. As here, there's 10 different elementary schools and most homes that are in these communities are gonna be easy walking distance, both to a Catholic or public elementary schools for your kids to go to. And then as for high schools, this is gonna depend really on where you live. As a part of this neighborhood here, will be bused to the Milton Public High School. We chatted about in the original neighborhoods, but or also you'll find another solid high school on the south end like Craig, Kilberger. Then as for the parks and community centers, you're going to be finding within these neighborhoods here. And the most notable one would be the Milton Leisure Center and Lion Sports Park. As in the park, you can find a variety of sports fields, as well as a skate park, a basketball court, jungle gym, and splash pad. But inside the Leisure Center, you'll find a lap pool, as well as a great play pool for your kids to enjoy, as well as some indoor gymnasiums. And then within this community, you'll also just be a short drive away from the Milton Memorial arena just another community rink that offers some free skates and great ice rink times for your kids to play some hockey then within each of these communities because it's been those established neighborhoods you are going to find some smaller parks that offer one to two sports fields usually a jungle gym and maybe a splash pad then as for the highway access you are going to get one of the best accesses here as not only are you the easternmost neighborhood so if you are thinking about commuting to toronto on a regular basis this would give you the best and shortest commute to Toronto, but as well as you'll find the first Ontario Art Centre in Milton that does have a few shows happening here every single week. 
Then as for what you can expect to find for the real estate within these neighborhoods here was this made up 36% of the total sales in Milton in the last 12 months. And this community here was really built between the 2000s and 2010s. And as a result, they're all going to have a similar look and through throughout these neighborhoods. Now, the majority of homes in these neighborhoods here are going to be detached homes. As in the last 12 months, this has been 60% of the sales that have happened typically selling between that $1 million and $1.5 million price point. Now you will find some smaller detached homes in this neighborhood here sell in the low millions, but as you increase the square footage in the detached homes, you'll find a lot more closer to that $1.5 million mark. Now with that said, on average, the homes in this neighborhood here will have larger square footages with inside the homes compared to the original communities we just chatted about. But on the flip side, the lots are going to be slightly smaller. Now because these were built in the early 2000s, they're still going to be a decent sized lot and a bit bigger than some of the newer communities we're going to be talking about in just a moment. Then as for townhomes, this made up 23% of the real estate sales typically selling between $800,000 and $1 million. Now, not only will these townhomes also be slightly larger, but here, the majority of townhomes are those freehold townhome options, so they are slightly more expensive to purchase. However, you do avoid that maintenance fee. Then for condos, this is going to be the most amount of condo options found throughout the Milton area, and they're usually on the north side in Dempsey or on the right side on Main Street, close to the James Snow 401 entrance, making it a great option for any community Commuters that are looking to drive to Toronto and then you will find a few low-rise complexes throughout these communities here as well. Then let's talk about the third phase of development within Milton and it's going to be quite similar to the last neighborhoods we just chatted about and that is going to be on the west side of Milton and this includes the Scott neighborhood Harrison in Wilmot. and most of these homes here were really built from like 2008 up until about 2018-2020 and as a result there are going to be slightly newer and also offer some of the most scenic views of the Niagara Escarpment, which is going to bring me on to the first pro about living in these communities here is the amazing parks these neighborhoods are going to offer you. As on the west side of Milton is where you're going to find my personal favorite parks. As one, you have the Kelso Lake Conservation Area, and this here is an amazing park that allows you just a short drive away from your home to go to the beach in the summertime and canoe and hike, but also in the wintertime, go skiing at the Glen Eden Ski Club. But then within this area, here you'll also find the rattlesnake conservation area that is an amazing hiking trail full of amazing different lookouts but also the best place that i know to go get that natural rock climbing experience and then within these neighborhoods here you'll find the second largest community center in all of milton being the milton sports center and sports park here you're going to find another pool as well as a fitness center a few different ice rinks but as well as an indoor traffic that's perfect to walk in the winter time and then outside, you're going to find another skate park, some amazing beach volleyball courts, a bunch of basketball courts, and a variety of other sports fields. Then just a short drive away, you'll also find two other quick notable community centers via Sherwood Community Center that offers a public library as well as one of the only cricket pitches within Milton. But then you'll also find the Madame National Cycling Center, which is one of a kind and only the second one in North America that live up to the international cycling competition standards. And then as for the shopping options available within these communities here, you will find some smaller plazas to get your basic amenities done. However, it's going to be nothing compared to the last two communities we chatted about and those shopping options. So oftentimes, once you get your basic amenities, if you wanted to get any other shopping done, you'll be probably visiting one of the shopping plazas we chatted about recently. Now, with that said, one of the advantages about living here is you're close by the Milton District Hospital that offers some great healthcare to its residents. And then right alongside the Tremaine Road, right now, there's no highway entrance to get to it. However, in the upcoming years, we are going to see a brand new 401 entrance coming through here. So right now, that is definitely a con that you will be traveling through one of the communities we chatted about to jump on the 401, but in the coming years, that will easily be resolved. And then as for the schooling options available within this community here, it made up of eight different elementary schools and two different high schools, as well as the two brand new post-secondary options being the Wilfrid Laurier campus, as well as the Conestogo College campus close by, which has just both recently opened up and I imagine going to expand in the coming years. Then as for the real estate and what you can expect within this community here, made up 22% of all sales that have happened in Milton in the last 12 months. And this was the third phase 
of Milton's growth. So again, primarily these homes here were built from 2008 to 2018 and are going to have a similar look and feel to the east side of Milton, just slightly newer and a slightly higher density of population as you will find more townhome options within this community here as detached homes only made up 48% of the real estate sales that have happened in the last 12 months and typically selling between 1 million and $1.5 million. Now you will find some of those larger detached homes really hovering around that $1.4, $1.5 million mark. And you will find some absolute scenic detached homes that have uninterrupted views of the Niagara Escarpment. And then as for townhomes, this made up 44% of the real estate sales in this neighborhood. And typically we're selling between that 800 to $1.1 million. Now the majority will sell under that million dollar price point. However, here you will find some larger townhomes that are going to be just above that million dollar price point. And you're going to find a lot of options here in the South neighborhoods of the Harrison and Wilmount. And then as for condos, this made up only 8% of the real estate sales. And usually we're selling between that 750 and $900,000 as you'll find a few condo buildings right along Bronte road, but not as many options compared to the last two neighborhoods. And while not a large selection of condos, you will find a great selection of condos. If you are looking for a larger condo that is above a thousand square feet. So if you are interested in learning more about the different real estate options that are available within this community or the other ones we've chatted about or going to chat about, send me and my team a message today to book your free relocation consult call. Other than that, let's talk about the newest community Milton has to offer you, which is the Southern End and makes up neighborhoods of Walker, Ford, Corbin and Bose. And here you are going to find a brand new neighborhoods. And as a result, one, the homes are going to be brand new, which I know a lot of my clients absolutely love, but two, you will notice some growing pains here. So while there are some schools, there are going to be more that are going to be developed. Same with parks, depending on the neighborhood you're choosing, there's going to be some parks that have been established and developed. And you don't have to worry about those. There's other ones where the parks are still going to be coming soon. And that goes for the shopping options as well here. So oftentimes while these neighborhoods continue to expand, you'll often be visiting either some shopping plazas in the east end or west end of Milton. And right now, these neighborhoods here only made up 13% of the real estate sales that happened within Milton. But as they continue to expand, I can easily see this bunching in to closer to that 20% mark. And most of these homes here were really started developing in 2017 and are still going on today. And when you compare the Southern homes of Milton to the Northern homes of Oakville, this is why my clients absolutely love it as it's only about a five, 10 minute drive, depending on where you are from these two communities here. However, the price points in those new real estate is completely different and you will definitely get a better bargain in Milton compared to that of Oakville. As if we see how the real estate breaks down, detached homes made up 43% of the real estate sales, typically selling between that 1.25 and $1.75 million mark, really depending of course on the size of home you're looking for. And then the most common options were townhomes as this made up 49% of the real estate sales typically selling between that 800,000 to $1.25 million mark. And this area here is going to have a lot more townhomes coming soon. So if you are looking for new townhomes in the next coming years, definitely check out these neighborhoods. And then as for condos, this made up only 8% of the real estate sales in the last 12 months, typically selling between that 500 and $600,000 mark. And it usually is just one to two beds. And they're usually a bit smaller in this community here, usually between that 500 to 600 square footage. Then outside the city center of Milton, you're going to find rural Milton in a lot of great estate options and rural communities to choose from. So on the outskirts of Milton, you will find some cluster of homes scattered throughout, but the most notable one would be Campbellville. And this is perfect if you're looking for a small town that offers a lot of great urban amenities close by within Milton. Now, one of the advantages about living in the rural part of Milton is definitely going to be the amazing parks as one you're going to be just a short drive away from the Hilton Falls Conservation Area, which is the best local waterfall to go on a hike in Milton. But then, like I mentioned, you're going to find the Kelso Conservation Area and Rattlesnake Point right there as well. And then this is also where you're going to find the different golfing options that are either just going to be a short drive away from your home in the city center of Milton or your rural home as well. As here, you'll find Rattlesnake Point, Greystone, Granite Ridge. In total, there's over 10 different golf courses within a 20 minute drive away. 
Then as for how the real estate breaks down within the rural part of Milton, was this made up only 7% of the real estate sales that have happened in the last 12 months. And the most amount of concentration of these sales would happen in the community of Campbellville. However, there are a lot of other homes scattered throughout the rural fields of Milton. Now, as for the options, it's 100% detached homes selling anywhere from 1 million up to three, four, five million. Usually it's in that one to $3 million mark. And this is because of the large lots and the premium finishings on the inside. Now, with that said, depending on where you're looking, you will find some smaller detached homes that will sell under the million dollar mark. However, those are becoming fewer and farther in between. So I hope now you have a better idea of the best and worst neighborhoods of Milton for you and your family. If you're looking to learn more, the next video I'd recommend you take a look at is my video covering the pros and cons of living in Milton. So you can find that video right here. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day.